All right, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Josiah coming to you from the Digibyte Foundation. Just wanted to give you a really quick rundown of what's been happening with Digi IED. So we've been making some really cool progress, and we've got some exciting news that I will share with you shortly. So I want to give you a bit of a rundown of what specifically Digi IED is and what it does. So we'll start with what is Digi IED. So Digi IED is basically a public private key infrastructure authentication method based on a draft Bitcoin improvement proposal. So what does this mean? Basically, it means that it lets you sign in without a username, without a password, and it lets you use the cryptographic security of the Digibyte blockchain. So you know that it's incredibly secure, and one of the things that we've been working to do is make it incredibly fast as well. So where can you use this? Well, you can use this anywhere where there is authentication or any kind of a login prompt. So for example, this could be buildings uh, with access control. This could be websites. This could be your favorite game application uh, on your cell phone, or this could be a bunch of other different services similar to that. But the main one that we think you'll, you'll find this uh, is used for is specifically for websites. Anywhere where there is a, an email address anywhere where there's a username or a phone number prompt, anything at all like that, that's where you're going to find that you can use DigiID. So I'll give you a really quick, here's a video that I took earlier on of a, a demonstration. So you can see you've got your standard uh, email address, password, but then down the bottom here as well, you've also got DigiID. And so what you can do is you can scan that and log in. So what I'll actually do is we've got a demonstration here on the top left. So what I'll do is I've got my cell phone here and we're going to give you a really nice and technical I'm going to end up using, let's go over into the pin, one, two, okay. So, we have here, we've got the Digibyte wallet. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, let's see if we can get this up and running here. So if we tap on DigiID, it's going to give me, hey, look, you can see over the back there, that's the, uh, <laughs> the shelves behind me there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tap on sign me in with my Digibyte address. So this is a nice little demonstration website that we've got that will allow you to uh, log in and test it out, I suppose. So we've got my uh, scanner on my cell phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it up really quickly. And so it says to me here, do you want to enter your pin or your thumbprint? So what I'll do is I will see if I can get this to go all at once. Fingerprint. And it says DigiID success. So it took about a second and we're all logged in. We're ready to go there. You can see it says your Digibyte address, which is a unique address, which is generated specifically just for you to use Digi ID with so you can send uh, Digibyte to it if you really want, but by default it's not included in the wallet. It's completely separate. So let's, let's get a little bit technical. Okay, so how does this work? So each time the the website, so in particular this one, this is the demonstration website. It generates what's called a unique session ID for each new person that that visits, uh, and it also generates a matching QR code as well. So the QR code that you saw, we'll, we'll quickly sign out. This kind of QR code here also contains what's known as a nonce, a number once, which is it's basically like X back when you were in high school. So this references the, the unique session ID, so just, just your browser window, and it also includes the URL uh, of the service that you are logging into. So for example, let's say one day Facebook implement this, right? It would also include in there a little URL that says facebook.com uh, so that it knows where to send it back to. So what happens then is uh, you basically you scan the QR code, and the wallet you authenticate and you basically allow the wallet to sign the request using your thumbprint, fingerprint, or you enter your PIN number, one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've done that, the wallet then does everything else for you. So it's nice and easy. There's no having to muck around. It's all trans, like it basically happens all in the background. So the wallet will sign this particular request and it will send it back to the URL that's in the QR code. And, and so the server will then basically match it up and go, yep, that's cool. Josiah, he wants to log in, we'll let him sign in. And so there's no username, there's no passwords, there's none of that, it's great. So some of the some of the advantages, I suppose, uh, at no time does the service that you're logging into, like the website, for example, have access to your wallet. At no time can it see your balance of your address either. Uh, this will also work even if you have no balance, so you don't even have to have Digibyte in your wallet, it will still function perfectly. Uh, at no time do the private keys ever leave your phone. They are completely secure and you don't have to worry about anything there. 
at no time is there any tracking that's sent back to Digibyte or the foundation or anything like that and at no time can your signing request be used anywhere else as well so it is incredibly fast it's incredibly secure there are so many places that you can use and so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get a few places for you to uh, sign up with and, and, and use it might be uh, somewhere that you're already using for example and you'll be able to basically sign in with DigiID potentially either alongside your existing username and password or instead of it so we're really looking forward to that so what I'm also going to show you really quickly here is we've got a bit of a website up and running uh, that's going to it basically be able to be used to demonstrate Digibyte so what I'll do is I'll just bring this across here nice and look at this this is technical and so I am pleased to announce we're counting down to the launch. We've decided to do things a little bit differently. We're going to spice it up a little bit and see how we go here. So we are preparing for the launch. And at the time of filming, this is 21 days away. So we are expecting it to be uh, around about midday, give or take, on the 11th of March. Keep that date safe and keep that day noted in your calendar. And hopefully we will uh, have some really good news to be able to share with you a final official launch, official launch for DigiID on the 11th of March. Can't wait to show you it. Uh, and so yeah, stay tuned, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter at DigibyteCoin or at DGB underscore Chilling, and join us in Telegram as well. All of the links are available at digibyte.io at the bottom of every single page. If you want to follow along with this as well and uh, watch the countdown, just head to digi-id.io I look forward to uh, being in touch with you. Uh, we'll, we'll give some more updates as we, uh, as we get closer to the time as well. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we hope you enjoy using DigiID. Uh, this is Josiah from the Digibyte Foundation, signing out.